and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and this and is... This is a giant mountain of alcohol. This Sorry. is a very large pickups video. Yeah, it's one of our biggest pickups. Some of the stuff was bought <laughs> in Cincinnati. Some of it was given to the show. Some of it was sent to the show for review purposes. Uh, but we're going to start out with the mountain here so we can get that off the table. Ah, uh, yeah. So, some of these have been opened and emptied into the refrigerator. Namely, the uh, Genesee Specialty Cream Ale. It's dry hopped. They have a, a different can on it. At first, I thought it was just regular uh, Genesee Cream Ale, and uh, it was not. It's a hoppier version of their Cream Ale, and I paid $3 for a 12-pack. For a 12-pack, mm -hmm. $3. I'm, I'm really glad you put the entire 12-pack in the refrigerator. I mean, we're going we're gonna to need gonna them. We're going to need them. Yeah, there are a lot of seltzers there. <laughs> All right, so next we've got uh, yeah. Topo Chico hard seltzers. You guys have been requesting these for so a while. So many people want us to drink these. Uh, they're slim cans, 4.7% alcohol by volume, 100 calories. That's what you expect of a seltzer. Let's just go ahead and get the seltzer out of the way. What you got there, buddy? I, have, I got more Bud Light seltzers, but these are sour. Yeah. All right, so this these seltzers were sent to the show uh, by a company called Nectar. They are Asian themed seltzers. The flavors that's their word their words, not mine. <laughs> okay. Uh, Asian pear, mandarin, lychee, and yuzu flavored. Okay. Um, now um, I have a piece of paper that it came with. It says specifically that they don't use any sweeteners in it. Uh, even in their slogan is like, do you know that weird taste you get in seltzers afterwards? We don't have that because they don't add anything to it. That's what they say. So, right. um, we will see if these are any good. The boxes. That is a chunky box. Interesting. Let's see what's going right, Now we got a definitely lens. a chunky box. Big crap off the what? bigger stuff. Let's Even start is with... happening in front of me. Ah, pick one, right on. Anyone. Oh, why? That's More a... natural light vodka. <laughs> $10. This is just the regular lemon flavor, though. We've had the other one. I this bought it, yeah. only lemon flavor. That's, uh, I'm, I'm kind of interested to try it because I didn't hate the other one. It was good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I was 100% certain that it was going to be terrible. Uh, I've got some yellowtail pink Moscato. Mm. But Special K. Moscato. You guys don't review mine. You're right. But this is $4 for a 1.75. Special K is a Moscato kind of man. And I bought four of these because these are normally 12 bucks. And that's crazy cheap for one. It is, to be fair. I, I probably yeah. would have grabbed a bunch too. Um, hmm. How about very? I'm actually. I'm gonna do both of these yeah, at once. I'll, actually, I'll one I'm, I'm very. I'm very excited about these. Little kings in cans, but not tiny cans. Sixteen ounce cans. And this is their blood orange Genius. and agave lime, which were good. We gave good reviews. I'm so glad that they decided to do that. And. Best, best price, three dollars. Three dollars. I mean, that's like a jungle gym. That's probably a jungle gym's only type thing. But holy cow! Well, three these are made in Cincy, so it makes sense that they have for three ninety nine. Like they have a whole pallet of them. I need to make another another voyage to jungle gyms, man. All right. So next, I have two bottles of Bailey's Red Velvet. I'm good. Now, Red Velvet is normally uh, released during a uh, Valentine's Day, so. Um, Got Jungle Gems had these <laughs> for two ninety nine. Got the three, early release. Three dollars a bottle. This is twenty three dollars at Total Wine. <laughs> I looked it up. Twenty three dollars at our Total Wine right now. Or you can go to Jungle Gems and pay three dollars for. Did Mingo get a bunch too? I Mingo, imagine Mingo only bought one bottle. But oh. I'm looking back on, it, I'm like, I should have just bought this and like returned it to another liquor store or something. <laughs> you know, just go in price match. Make someone real mad. Yeah. Hey, I'd like to buy a pallet of your. Uh, of your your whatever that stuff is, uh, yeah, I'd like you to price match with this Jungle Gyms. <laughs> Three dollars. Lenikugel. Uh Toasted Bach. Toasted Bach. Okay, interesting. Uh, wait, no, someone told us we should try this, didn't they? We've had it a long time ago. Uh, anyways, Lenikugel's Toasted Bach. Uh, I don't really even care what it is. Lenikugel's generally does a pretty good job. And it was four dollars for a six pack. You can you can math that. Can All right. Laugh that? So we have Modelo Chilada Pina Picante. I don't know. I don't even know where I got this from. Do you like Pina Picante? <laughs> so that is a thing. No, I don't. I, I do not. 
Um, I'm gonna start from the front because I don't know what's up there. Uh, this is more. How much pina colada stuff did you have? Did you get? This is cut. Uh, this is Cutwater Bali High Pina Colada. Uh huh. That was our highest that rate. Was of Thirteen percent alcohol. They they uh, <laughs> they had our highest rate of Bloody Mary on the show, so I bought some more. Of this okay, stuff. that's fair. All right. Thirteen percent though. And here's the most disturbing price yeah. wise. So I bought this Seagram's Escapes. This is eight percent. This is citrus punch. It's pineapple, passion fruit, and orange. It's eight percent alcohol by volume. This is something you see at a gas station for two or three bucks, right? Yeah. yeah. Not Jungle Jim's. Jungle, oh no. Jungle Jim says. Jungle Sims says you can get an entire an entire flat for four dollars. <laughs> That's what Jungle so no, Jim says. Do we have a whole flat of that now? Yes. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> and Mingo was immediately like, what am I going to do with it? I'm like, it's like $4. What? what? It, it, even if it's bad, it's $4. You can just it's give like, it to people at that point. Right. Be like, oh, you like orange? Here, bro. Yeah. yeah. Here, take two. All right, what you got? Take two, finish them, and then go home. Uh, absolute vodka soda, grapefruit, rosemary. What? Yeah, I bought that one because it looked interesting. Rosemary? Whatever floats your boat. I mean, rosemary's good, but I don't know if I want it in my alcohol. So we also have Bud Light Chilada, <laughs> lemon and chilies. So this is a new Chilado, or Chilado. It's Chilado, uh, yeah. Chilada. Get it. <laughs> All right. Hornitos, blue agave, tequila seltzer. Okay, I'm down with this. Just lime flavor. Made with Plata tequila. Natural flavors and seltzer water. Interesting. Uh, so these three bottles right here are German beers. Yeah. So they're German beers. They were bought in Costa Rica, but they're German. Um, it's fun. It's interesting because they have uh, Spanish on some of it. They have German on other parts of it, and they even have a Spanish translation uh, on the side here. Um, I've never seen this brewery in um, the United States. My, my mother-in-law picked these up. Oh, I was like, why did you, go? On <laughs> this, did you go to Costa Rica? <laughs> while we're on the subject of Costa Rica, we have four beers from Costa Rica's only craft brewery, Monte Verde. Uh, my mother-in-law picked these up as well. We're going to do all these together on like a Costa oh, okay. Rica because it's their only craft brewery. So we can do Costa Rica's only craft that brewery. Sounds, that sounds like fun. Um, and this is like a red, red ale. This one is an American Pale Ale. This one is India Pale Ale, and this one is a Golden Ale. And this one, okay. this one back here, is just a basic lager. So. Interesting, definitely interesting. What you got? Um, I'll do the other bottle of Natural Light, which you've seen us drink before. No, that's the new flavor. Look at oh. right at the bottom. No, oh, Black Cherry Lemonade. Interesting. You haven't seen us drink this before, but you're gonna see it. Uh, oh no. Now, <laughs> radar. Uh, yeah, I saw that earlier. Yeah. One thing you always want, um, especially when you're buying portable shots, is for a bag to look like it belongs in a porta potty. Mm. Like everything about this package just screams. Just screams low I'm, rent. <laughs> I'm somebody selling me behind a porta potty. It's called porta shots. What? Or is it really? No. How dare they? <laughs> so. <laughs> three dollars for no. three dollars for a bag of twenty five shots of questionable rum. Uh, it just smells like let me, let me alcohol. See that. Yeah, the bag. None of those are open, are they? They didn't burst. Oh, it's like condoms! It comes out like condoms. Ah! Oh, no. ah! <laughs> they got me in the gut, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, we are all gonna die! Oh no! It's snowing. We are all gonna die. Here, you're gonna need these uh, for later. Oh no! How many does it take? Um, probably three before I die. Oh. I'm gonna say I could drink three before I die. I, I was referencing the condom shapes. Oh, oh no. Um, yeah. How many of these would kill you? I'm thinking three for me. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize. Uh, so yeah, three bucks. Uh, I mean. I wouldn't drink these. I'm gonna be honest. I've had we've had their vodka and a few other things, and we've learned that vodka squeeze is much a superior product. But if I had these and I was at a concert, I'd be like, "Hey, 
I'll say you shot around. <laughs> I'll say you shot around for two dollars. You wanna like you walk up? And just, you wanna? Uh... <laughs> you, you charge? You charge? Uh, five bucks for four. Five bucks for four. Oh, no. Right? You make a killing because they're like four bucks a bag. Such a bad idea. I don't know. I don't even, yeah, get that. You folded that up like a dad folds a map. What are you? Get what it. is this pile of alcohol? <laughs> All right. Where are our last two items? Uh. All right. I've got Bombay Sapphire Gin and Tonic. Uh, vapor infused London dry gin, and then you had the Hornitos. Uh, uh, this is this is the mango yeah. Hornitos tequila seltzer. I'm I'm pretty pleased with the hollow alcohol, except for this. Oh, there's why? More. Uh, there's more, and you guys might have noticed there's a distinct lack of beer. Um, that is mostly because there just isn't any new beer out. Um, it's a lot of seltzers right now. The market's kind of saturated with seltzers. Um, so you're gonna I'm kind of saturated with seltzers. We're still going to make sure we get one, at least one beer video up a week and one alcohol video, but there might be more of these types of things. Well, up. We've got tons of beer that we haven't had yet. Yeah, but if I go put a random craft brewery up there, it's not going to get the views. You know, mm, what that's I mean? true. It's got to be a it's fair. It's got to be like a, a Guinness or something. I'm not right. doing another Guinness review. Let's do it. That's been our episode. There's something you'd like to see on the channel. Leave a comment right there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. For watching. Right, let's move all this shit. So all these are already in the fridge, so they can just sit to the side. What the fuck have you done? Oh, those went everywhere. Yep. Oh, there's one.